This video will show you how to install a rear derailleur. Tension screw function, adjust the limit screw for the distance between the guide wheel and flywheel on the rear derailleur. H high speed limit screw, prevents the chain from moving from the large chain to the smallest chain. Clockwise moves the guide wheel left, counterclockwise moves it right. L low speed limit screw, prevents the chain from moving from the small chain to the largest chain. Clockwise moves the guide wheel right, counterclockwise moves it left. Cable fine tuning knob, counterclockwise tightens the cable, clockwise loosens it. Use it for smoother speed changes without noise. First, place the front derailleur chain on the largest plate and the rear derailleur chain on the smallest flywheel, and retract the shifter several times for the cable to return to a loose state. Turn fine tuning knob clockwise to the bottom, then counterclockwise for two turns. Loosen the fixing screw of the speed cable for loose cable return. Adjust the H limit screw to align the chain with the small flywheel and upper slash lower guide wheels. Turn the screw clockwise to move the guide wheel left, and counterclockwise to move right. Start by turning the screw two times clockwise, then adjust counterclockwise in one quarter turns until the chain runs smoothly on a small flywheel. Be careful not to turn the screw too much counterclockwise, or the chain may fall out of place. Tighten the speed change cable by fixing the screw, then adjust the H limit screw.
Change to the largest chain ring, then change to the largest chain ring on the flywheel. If changing between chain rings isn't smooth or noisy, turn fine-tuning knob accordingly, clockwise for small to large, counterclockwise for large to small. Turn the crank to test the rear derailleur speed change. The chain is on the smallest plate, then on the largest plate of the flywheel with guide wheels perpendicular. Adjust the L-limit screw for the guide wheel position. Test by rotating the L-screw, the chain should stay on the largest plate. Turn the L-screw counterclockwise if the chain falls into smaller teeth. Adjust until no abnormal sound. If the chain falls into the spokes, turn the L-screw clockwise. For more information, please visit cyrusher.com.